open your browser and enter the URL for Cloud UX. If you don't know what it is, you can find out from your training or IT team, as it will be different for every organization. Also ask which browser you should be using, as some work better with Cloud UX than others. Generally, Chrome is recommended. The first time you launch the platform, you might get a page that looks like this. You can ignore the warning, just follow the instructions to proceed. In this case, you would click on Advanced and then proceed to the URL you typed in, but your system might have a slightly different setup. You should now have this login screen where you'll enter your credentials. Enter your assigned username and password, remembering that passwords are case sensitive. The first time you log in, you also might be asked to accept the license agreement. You can go ahead and do that, and then we're ready to go. You could also now bookmark the Cloud UX page in your browser so you can get to it easily next time. Just add it to your favorites as you normally would, saving it to your bookmarks bar. Once we're logged in, at the top of the screen, we can see an area we call the Fast Bar. This is how you get to apps you need. If you hover the mouse over the icon, you'll see a tooltip that tells you what the app is. This one, for example, is the Browse app, and this one is Search. You'll notice that when I click on an app to make it active, the icon will show its color. Over here, is where you sign out of Cloud UX. This is important because if you don't sign out properly, your settings may not be saved and you won't release the connection with the server, which means no one else will be able to use the license that you've been using. So always remember to sign out rather than just close the browser window. Another feature to mention here, if you are an administrator and need to log in as such, Click on the Avid logo in the upper left-hand corner, and you'll see the credentials area here switch to an administrator login where you can enter your administrator username and password. To toggle back to the normal login screen, just click up here again.